Hey everybody, welcome to the 17th day of our 20 day awesome web challenge. My name is Tina and today we will be looking more into the security of your web page. But don't worry, today we will be talking well just about the basics because the security is so so complicated that for 100% you will need help of your web developers or your team. Well, I guess that today I don't even need to explain why the security is important. I believe that we all are aware that it's super important and we need to take care of it. And for today, uh, according to the security topic, I have prepared, let's say, two areas. The first one is that you will actually need to connect with your web developers and ask them how is my web page and how are my data secure what I need to do to make it even more secure. Yeah, so this is the first part, just to ask this general question and actually keep asking him or her like more deeper and deeper, like try to go as deep into the topic as possible. I know it's hard for you because you don't understand the security itself, um, but just try to ask as many questions as possible. Why, how, how does it work? Uh, what can we improve? How we can make it better? And the other part, there are actually two things, very easy ones. You can check on your web page directly right now, and I would like you to check these two things. The first thing is about your SSL certificate, HTTPS actually. What does it mean and where you can find it if you have it or not? On the top left corner on the browser, you can see there will be this little lock or there will be uh, the information dot or something or something red written not not secure, and this is the point where oh there is something wrong with my web page and I need to improve that. Why am I stressing out this point? It's actually because also Google said that if you are not going to have secure web page from this point of view, he will actually prefer the other web pages in the browser and search engine in front of you and that's pity right so and it's super cheap or even for free in these days it always depends on your needs so again uh, get in touch with your web developers and ask them how can we uh, secure my web page from the SSL certificate point of view and which one is the best for me one more point why I'm talking about this is that this one is actually so much visible for your users and also, if you have uh, on your web page payments by a card, it could even pop up that this web page is not secure. Do you really want to pay with your card? So this is not something you want to have on your web page. So make sure that you will have the SSL certificate in there. And the second very easy thing, um, this is more like a recommendation, but it's up to you. It's actually called recaptcha. I believe that you've already seen it on the many, many web pages because it's provided by Google. And uh, basically, if you have the contact form in the, on your web page, there will be, when you fill in the contact form, at the end, there will be something like recapture check button that I'm not a robot. And why is this good thing? Is that if you have the recapture in there, it's much harder for some robots to send you some spams on your email. So it's my it's a recommendation from my side to actually install this little thing in there, which will help to secure more your uh, email boxes. If you don't have troubles with the spam right now, you might not need it right now. It's just keep in mind that there's something like this existing on the market. So when this problem will pop up, um, you can just easily install it with the help of your web developers and your web page will be secured more from these spams. So keep it in mind and install it if you need it. So, and I have one more bonus for you actually, and it's just a little reminder, let's say, I know that we all are aware of it, but we still, or we still, a lot of people are doing it actually. It's according the passwords. You should have strong password. It's not enough to have one password for every single login you have. 
and it's not enough to have a password which is consisted just out of one random regular word. And it's not enough if you have logins to your administration, to the CMS system. It's not enough to have their password admin admin. It's super bad and it's super easy to get in there actually. And then again, the web page would not be secured. So make sure that generally you have strong passwords. So that's it for today from the security point of view. Just once again stressing out, we did not cover everything. You need to talk to your web developers and ask them how to make your web page more secure. That will be the easiest way for you to cover the whole thing. And just make sure and try out, check on your web page if you have this SSL certificate in there. If you have ReCAPTCHA in there, check maybe your email boxes if you have a lot of spam, so maybe you need a ReCAPTCHA in there. And uh, just use these 10 to 20 minutes to talk to your web developers, pick up the phone, call them, ask them these questions. And I will see you tomorrow or in the 18th day. So, and it, of course, if you need anything from my side, just write below the, in the comments. I'm here to help you if there's anything needed from my side. And otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Have a nice rest of the day.